Just like fame and fortune in this movie star city, the Hollywood sign seems so close, but so far away. To get any closer, it's a good hour's hike straight up the hill. But in a sign of the times, more visitors are finding their own way to the top. The biggest change in the world is not the sign itself, but GPS and Mr. and Mrs. Google. And uh, they get people up those streets that no one ever went up before. Apps, maps, and blogs direct visitors to trailheads on dead-end streets that were not built for traffic. There was somebody's blog um, mentioning to come up this way. Yeah, we went on, I think it was on Yelp. I think that's what it was. We kind of just Googled it. Back in 1923, when the sign was built, it was an advertisement for a real estate development way down below. Now the people who live in those multi-million dollar houses want their privacy. It's twisty one-way roads and hairpin turns with no parking. They just are so infatuated with the sign that they just park their car under a no parking sign. After complaining to the city for years, the Neighborhood Association posted these intimidating signs and hired this camera shy security guard to enforce the new parking rules. When we came up, we thought it was closed because of the gate. Some residents even reached out to Google, asking them to direct visitors to another part of Griffith Park miles away. The city parks department now runs shuttles from that parking lot to an overlook with a better view. Oh, this is the sign. Councilman Tom LaBonge says city officials have to balance the quiet and safety for those who live here against the right to visit a landmark in a public park. We'd like to take a picture right next to one of the letters. It's on a mountain. When it's on a mountain, there's open space around, and you just see that, and you could dream a little. Little dreams adding up to a traffic nightmare. Raquel Maria Dillon, The Associated Press, Los Angeles.